my name is Rachel McDonough, and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Susanna. And we're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight, and you are watching True School Sports. Wow. That's <laughs> really boy, boy, Boise, Idaho. Well, why, why is it great? Why is it the best state in the world? Old school. Old school. Exactly. It's old school. It's old school. Ain't no, ain't no shit happening there. It's, <laughs> they got any? It's old school. Everyone, everyone minds their manners. Old school. Everyone minds. It's the greatest city ever, bro. It's beautiful. The only problem with it is no ocean, and I don't want to be there. There's the ocean. I live there for sure, 100. They got any boxers out there? Any boxing gyms? In Idaho? It's, it's all white. It's all white, so it's the, the parents don't want to put them in the gym. It's all white, so that's probably... It's all taekwondo. Yeah, well, it's all <laughs> white, so it's like, I mean, school. so, yeah, you, you're like hillbilly white, you're like white boxes, bro. Like hey, hey, listen, do you remember Kenny Keen? Kenny Keen. The, the cruiserweight, Kenny Keen. Sounds familiar, I don't... He fought for whatever, but he was like a hillbilly, bro. But like, <laughs> like, he's like 24 years old, his hairline was like, he's like a straight hillbilly, bro. A tough guy, but he fought Robert Daniels Jr., Robert Daniels Sr. for the belt. He, he, he's a good fighter, bro. Hillbilly, bro. Like, he's, that hillbilly, bro. I know. Hillbilly. <laughs> but they're fight fans, bro. They're fight fans. They're fight fans. Josh, who, who, who was your favorite boxer like, growing up? Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey, because your name, which is why you changed the name. Huh? That's why, that's why you changed your name, last name from Gorm Lee to uh, Dempsey well, my, as a boxer. My, my, my mom is a Dempsey. My mom is a Dempsey. I, I changed my, he's my grandpa. Okay. I changed my mom's main name. My brother didn't because, because he didn't, didn't want to hurt my dad's film, but I, I wanted him to, but... Yeah, I just need to, I just need to open, open doors. I just need to open doors. You know? Yeah, yeah. Where do you rank uh, Jack Dempsey as far as like the all-time great heavyweights? Like, what, what do you think he stands? Top five. Top five? Top five. I agree here. It's great five. You know, the greatest of all time, all my way. Number yeah. One, hands down. Number two, uh, my, 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 Larry Holmes or Larry Holmes or, 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 or Sugar Ray Robinson. Sugar Robinson? Larry Holmes or Sugar Ray Robinson. I or, 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 uh, um, no. Joe Lewis? What Joe Lewis? Uh, awesome too, but uh, the guy who, the guy who, um, Willie Pep. Willie Pep. Willie it was, Pep. wasn't a heavyweight. He was like. No, but Willie Pep was our, uh, Andrew Dennis. That was his favorite. That was his number one fighter, bro. Yeah. And he was the he was the uh, the bartender of my grandpa's. Russia. Wow, Willie Pep. Well, wow. they said uh, there's myths about Willie Pep. Like he won, he won around without throwing a single punch. Yeah, yeah, he was that yeah, good defensively. Yeah, he just won around. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was an amazing fighter, bro. Number three, Charles Martin. Ch Charles Martin. <laughs> Prince. 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 Charles Martin. What about uh, Holyfield? Top five? Holyfield, yeah. undisputed. Yeah. At three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody would be, anybody be, be Riddick Bow. Oh. Riddick Bow is the one of the best, bro. And anyone who be Riddick Bow, anyone who knocked out Riddick Bow, he's got a lot of respect. Riddick Bow is one of the best. He's the most talented, one of the most talented, naturally talented fighters, the most naturally talented, out of shape fighter I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and he was like, uh, Holyfield, he's one of the only guys like just boxing. If he talks to Holyfield not today. He talks just like he's never had a fight in his life. I, I talked to Holyfield. Yeah, I talked. Just like you know, I'm not fighting his life. Rudy Bow can't say a word. I know. I talked to both of them. They have the heavyweight factor. He can't say a word, bro. And 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 then all those talks like he's never had a fight. Yeah, and and he talks the same way now. That I was expecting Holyfield to, to sound bad, bro, because he's been in some wars and he sounded great, bro. He sounded better than me. <laughs> video please check out tss sports please sub to his youtube channel he has dope content dope videos talks about boxing nba nfl